I don't think I would change anything because um, without going through like the uh, hardships that I went through, I mean, some of which I've kind of explained to you right now, but there's many more <laughs> levels of this. <laughs> I think uh, I wouldn't have a life experience that made me kind of um, find what I was looking for when I was a kid, you know? Like when I was in New York when I was a kid and I was uh, feeling overwhelmed by not having a voice, this, this uh, hardship is what gives, gives me voice. So it's a good thing. First off, to be an artist, I think you have to be slightly crazy because it's, it's a long process of, of uh, a lot of work and no reward. <laughs> and only, I mean, you, it, sometimes maybe you get lucky, you know? Um, like, I, I don't think that I um, planned this kind of out. There's this book um, that Jerzy Kaczynski wrote called Being There about this guy named Chauncey Gardner. And he just kind of um, finds himself in different situations in life, you know? And uh, somehow, serendipitously, things happen for him, you know? You can't construct like a way to make things work. You just have to kind of live every day and like put the pieces together slowly and some things work and some things don't work and um, keep trying and uh, keep failing. I think that's important actually. Because if you're just uh, always successful, then you don't really, um, you're not giving it a good go, you know? You're not taking risks. I think it's important to take risks. There's actually a period of time where I was making my work and because I had a job, like, I think nobody liked what I was making, you know? But um, this lady gave me the, a, a full show there and I thought like, well, I'm gonna just make this, this show regardless of, um, you know, whether it sells or not, I just got, I've got this uh, need to make what I need to make, you know what I mean? And so I think that's one thing maybe is just uh, try not to compromise on your vision because there's a lot of people that are out there trying to give you advice on what to do. <laughs> Don't listen to them. Just kind of follow your own path. I feel pretty lucky at this point to even be here doing this, you know? And, um, like when I painted the Eiffel Tower, I got the same question, you know? And these are things that I ever um, kind of expected, you know, or thought like I would be in the situation to do. So I'm just kind of uh, a believer in taking the opportunities that are in front of me and, um, not trying to get ahead of myself and, and figure things out, just kind of slowly moving forward and um, hopefully being humble a little bit. <laughs> I don't know.